Cousins, Kim folks, what's good? It's your girl of a life plug and I'm back with another episode for the channel. This is actually me doing a little bit of a rant about how to be a travel CNA. So that's why this is in the how to be a travel CNA series. Y'all know it's for real because I got on my big comfy t-shirt. My makeup is not done. I don't have scrubs on, nothing on, like for real. Like some of y'all, oh my God, y'all are intense with these recruiters. Y'all know they are people, right? Like they have feelings, they have thoughts, they have emotions. Like y'all be rude, so rude. And they trying to help you get some money. And okay, it's not the type of money that you want right now. Okay, but y'all know recruiters talk, right? Y'all know recruiters, they have their own network, right? And so when you are trying to figure out why you applying to six different agencies and you can't get into none of them, how you acting in them Facebook groups? What are you posting on your social media? Let's get into that because they definitely check your social media. Like some of these agencies are multi-billion dollar corporations. They are not about to just hire a hood rat or an uneducated, ignorant person to represent their company. I know I'm not. And some of y'all like, oh, well, why can't I get a contract with you? Because your resume doesn't add up. Because what you're posting on social media, you're not about to go out here in the field and represent my company. And this is... No! No! Family members, employees, the residents, the patients, anybody can find you on social media. And you over here popping cooter cat on a handstand for free. And your kids follow you on all your social media. Your children watching you pop your cooter cat on a handstand for free. That might be okay for y'all, but that's not okay for my company. It pertains to the Facebook groups and when recruiters post the contract. If you don't like the contract, don't like the contract. You don't have to like the contract. You don't have to like it. But being rude and nasty and ignorant on these statuses the way that some of y'all are, oh my goodness. I feel bad for the recruiters. And again, you wonder why you can't get a job. And sometimes it really, sometimes it is the same people over and over and over again. Like how you got time to know, like I post across 12 different Facebook groups. I should not see you on seven of my posts and 32 of the, of the descending posts underneath of mine across seven groups. Because some of them y'all can't get into because you can't get into them. But, like, what's up with y'all? Like, why are you so miserable? So, anyway, that's that part. That's the housekeeping. That's the house rules on that. If you see me post something and you don't like the contract, you don't like the information, please do not get on my post and get nasty or ignorant. Because I will get nasty and ignorant right back with you, agency owner or not. At the end of the day, I am a woman first and foremost i'm a woman phenomenally okay so you better watch your tone over the internet because y'all be doing too much and even if being a cna or a, a travel nurse is like a side thing for you you still have no idea what other agencies are watching what other recruiters are watching what other people in life period point blank are watching you never know and then if a recruiter was to pop back at you the way that you popping at them, you'd be like, oh, that's unprofessional, this, this, that, and the third. They are a human being. Ain't nobody about to talk to me sideways. And I'm trying to help you make some money. No. Anyway, housekeeping rules over and done with. So if you like this type of content, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn those post notifications on so you can be on time for every single cousin walk, every single car ride, every single sit-down session. Be on time for the Kim Folk link up. Why? Because this is where it's at and this is where you want to be. Period.